Right, so I'm going to create the cover for my little journal here. Um, that was still. Let's just use this one because it's not that anything on it yet. Uh, so I'm going to use this envelope. This grunge board kind of thing. You can buy a grunge board, but. This is like a free gift with your orders, isn't it? For us mixed media artists. So yeah, um peel some of that off. I don't know how this is gonna turn out, if I'm gonna finish it today or what. But I just really feel like doing some messy mixed media. be a tiny bit bigger than the cards so that it covers them. Let's go for there and there. Um, I'm not going to bind it today because I like working on the loose leaves but leaves, sorry not leaves. <laughs> Brain fog with this cold. Um, yeah, but we can create the cover ready for when we are ready to bind it. Um, is that going to be enough for two? Do I have to turn it? Or do I need to turn it the other way? <laughs> oh no! No, I do want that way. That's fine. It's fine. This is going to be a mixture of mid-month mini mis mission inspirations and mixed media morsels. So, just so that I still get 12 pages out of the book and I don't waste the backs of the index cards. Sorry, I just need a drink, my throat. Let's go in there. Here we go. Now then, where do we start? I have a lot of book text pages to use up. Um, because I am doing myself a an altered book. I've gutted some of the pages out. It's quite a nice book. It's about flower ranging, so there's some nice images in there. Uh, put it back for that one. down a little bit to make it easier to work with. Recording on a <laughs> Not that much of this left, actually. Uh, pet knife. Uh, 
No. So these covers, um, sorry, these little index cards, they feel very, very mixed media, very moving up the waist and all that. So I'm going to try and keep the cover in keeping with that. Lots of layers, I think. That's all I feel like doing today. Layers, mixed media, grunge. Loose and free and... It's the best thing when you're not feeling too good, isn't it? I've dipped that in some paint, lovely. Let's try not to get that bit on. Covers it. Look at this. Messy home. My baby wipes are all dried up. Okay. Maybe, but I think I'll concentrate on the outsides today and then maybe just put something basic on the inside. Now, I think most of my pages are going to be landscape, so we'll keep that in mind and maybe do a landscape cover. I've got paint everywhere, look, everything's just <laughs> messy, messy, messy. Way too much jamming in. Let's keep that onto the palette there. Yeah, didn't mean that messy. I don't think I'm going to gesso. I'm just going to throw some paint down. For the minute, as I say, layers, layers, layers. Um, put that on there. It's a bit sticky. Let's pop that back. Oh, I dropped it. Never mind. I'll grab that in a bit. <laughs> Vallejo teal. Yeah. Oh, goodness me, there we go.
and then a touch of this golden dioxazine purple this is a very fluidy fluid acrylic so I don't think it's a lot usually work on the front and back covers together but just feel like it you know that's all I can say today just feel like it won't it now I'm going to grab this No, not this one. This one I was using earlier. Um, black. Let's go for black. Because it's out. Just use this technique on my page that I've done for mixed media morsels. Probably put that video out before this one because it will make sense. I'll dry that and I'll be back. Okay, I think that is dry enough. Let's grab the oops, matte medium. Oh, my brush is gone a little bit. Stiff already. Didn't clean it a minute ago. I think some of the paint was a bit wet, but never mind. Really not just today. And I'm going to put this on. And this is going to add another layer of interest. It's going to push the paint layer back a little bit, but not a lot. stamp onto the napkin it will go through onto your surface and it might stick a little bit whilst you're drying it so just be aware of that let's get a bit of that splashing shall we, from earlier why not
Hmm. So many possibilities in my head. Where do we go next? Hey. Okay. Is that done? Now let's see. Let's bring this one back and start to trim a little bit. And have a little bit of a thing. Stenciling, I've done one yet. <laughs> um, do I need to? Yeah, I think I need to dry this a bit first because the tissue is quite wet and soft. So I'll get it all dry and cut, and I'll be back. Okay. So I really did like what I did on the circles page with this paint. Way too much, um, but just to make it a little bit different, I'm gonna add in some of the if it'll go if it's not dried up the Titan buff. Um, I think it might be a bit dry, but never mind, not too much paint. Now I'm going to use this uh, chevron stencil on more napkin. I'm going to use this neon blue. Um, just do it a bit randomly, I think. So I want the layers. Sticky stencils. So make sure I don't rip my napkin. Let me hear. <laughs> no, 
know, I might lose your ratings, darling. Don't sound a bit bummy on me. <laughs> A little bit of company today. I'm behaving. Looks like a tyre. Thank you for that. <laughs> right, so I'm going to dry that. Uh, oh, do I, need, I might need a little bit more, so let's just move it down a bit again. It's getting very warm in here. I'm not complaining that it's cold outside. Right. I think that should be enough of that, so I will dry that and be back. Let's go back in with the matte medium. Oh, I keep forgetting to put my brush into water. Okay. <laughs> Cat's doing something naughty. <laughs> Yeah, he's definitely doing something naughty. I can hear him being told off. <laughs> he's probably scratching the carpet or something. Right, let's get the scissors, cut it down. Cut it down a bit better in a minute. <coughs> Voice is going now. Stay away from my records, that's all I don't know. <laughs> um, I don't know. Put some stamps on it or something. I was thinking that actually. Yeah, just bring it yeah, to the fore and uh, make my artistic contribution for the day. Yes, thank you for that. <laughs> I've dipped that into the wet paint on the side there, never mind. start with my new permanent Tim Holtz ink and this stamp and we grab which colour do I want and uh, I think I want the hickory smoke no black soap Um, 
wanted a bit of that. And now I'm going to grab my favourite and that it stays on. Let's move that out of the way. Okay, now it's getting quite busy, so we need to turn it down some white. So let's grab the white paint. <coughs> Excuse me. And <coughs> oh, sorry. Frog, right. <laughs> Just move some stuff out of the way. Thank you. paintbrush this time. Made this stamp with some kids craft foam and I just die cut some circles. Stuck them on there with some clear Elmer's glue. Point now where I don't know what I'm doing, and I'm just keep going. <laughs> I got this down there. Black. Do I have to look at this? The black. That's irritating me. <laughs> so, let's get some black paint out.
haben wir auch gedacht, Digga. Probably gonna want no, I'm gonna go back to the purple, I think, for that. Do you want any texture? No, let's just go for the purple. Nearly done. Maybe. Okay, so I'm going to grab my spray bottle and my fan brush. Now I have to decide which is the front and which is the back. I think I like this one as the front. So, let's just have a look for something and dry this off and I will be back. Okay. Alright, so I'm going to, oh I forgot to dry it. <laughs> well, we'll dry it together. I'm going to edge this with purple as well. To make it match. There we go. So, put that in the paint. Uh, we'll dry that and be back. You wanted to play with my label maker. Yeah, I just wanted to spell my name with it. <laughs> <laughs> Well, you can write out, oh, no, hang on, let me write it down for you. Yeah, just, just type it in. That's it. I've set the right size and everything. So, I'm just going to, this is a dry as I've got patience to do. I'm going to glue my M down. My lovely assistant is uh, 
going to put my title into my label maker for me. I'm struggling with this, I'll come back at you and me again. <laughs> There we go, and we'll have a brief pause whilst the uh, label is being made, and I'm going to have a sip of my drink, and I'll be right back. Okay, <clears throat> so I'm going to cut this up a little bit now. mid-month mini missions and mixed media morsels. There we go. And it's just by pure chance that both sets of challenges start with M's. But that brilliant elephant. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry for the guzzling. <laughs> I don't want to get that frog in my throat. <laughs> no, you caught it as well now. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Sorry, you've only been here two minutes. You must have brought that one with you. <laughs> yeah, I did. I did. It's the only thing I got for free. <laughs> and just go around the writing. And with the noise of the boiler as well. Hmm, I'm saying not playing any for that. Uh, this is why I need a craft room. <laughs> oh, I may have to share the space now. the silences when you're so engrossed in things. Don't want your video to be silent, but you know what it's like when you're concentrating. Yeah. Be quiet. I like that sound though, it reminds me you can only get the quills on the old parchment paper. <laughs> That's just me. There we go. back covers of my journal done on the outside as I say I'll probably stick something pretty on the inside and the pages will go in the middle and we will do that as I say when I've finished doing the pages so that I can work on them loose so thank you for watching I hope you enjoyed that um, I hope to see you soon. Thank you. Bye.